Kelly. And I'm Pastor Kurt. And we're from Seven Seas Ministries. And today we'd like to talk to you about waiting on Isaac. Mm -hmm. And the reason we call the video that is because waiting on Isaac is symbolic of when Abraham and Sarah were waiting on a son. Mm -hmm. um, in, in Genesis chapter 12, God had come to Abraham and he promised Abraham... First of all, he told Abraham to leave where he was, right. leave his leave his family, leave everything behind, and go to a place that I would show you. Mm -hmm. And in chapter 12, that was where God made a promise to Abraham mm -hmm. and told him that he would make a great nation out of him. Yes. He told him that his descendants would be as numerous as the sand on the shores. Mm -hmm. that's, that's a lot of descendants. Yeah, <laughs> like um, so. But at that point in time, there was there was no child that could become... Abraham's descendant, descendant, mm -hmm. or 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 benefit from his inheritance. Mm -hmm. There were no children, right? Um, so Abraham was a little puzzled by God's promise, but mm -hmm. he trusted God and he believed God. And you know the Bible says that because Abraham believed him, it was credited to him as righteousness. Yes, that's right. Um, you know Abraham is looked at as the father of faith because mm -hmm. he would he stepped out and he did things mm -hmm. and went places that God told him to do and go just mm -hmm. based on the fact that God told him to do it. Yes. And he didn't, uh, you know, he didn't have any anything substantial or, or physical, tangible right. mm -hmm. to show that he should do it. He just had God's voice, right. God's word. So he went <laughs> and he did it. Um, but during the time from, from when God promised Abraham mm -hmm. that he would become the father of many nations, that his descendants would be numerous, um, from that time forward, Abraham wondered and Sarah wondered mm -hmm. what was really going on because they had, they still had no children mm -hmm. and they began to be get, to get impatient. Yes. They began to grow impatient mm -hmm. and Sarah had an idea mm -hmm. because, you know, 15 or 20 years had passed or let's just say there were a lot of years that had passed. <laughs> Some years had gone yes. by since, uh. <laughs> Since God had promised mm -hmm. Abraham that he would become a great nation. And they waited on a son, and they waited on a son, and Sarah became impatient. Mm -hmm. And so she had an idea that, that well, Abraham, why don't you just go be with my servant and, you know, mm -hmm. have a baby with her? Yes. And Abraham followed her mm -hmm. and told and did what she told him to do mm -hmm. and ended up being with Sarah's servant Hagar mm -hmm. who was an Egyptian woman and they ended up having a baby together mm -hmm. uh, the, this, the baby's name uh, was Ishmael it was a son mm -hmm. and so they just kind of settled in and thought well apparently Ishmael is our heir and he will be the he will be part of that father of great nations thing mm -hmm. that God had promised mm -hmm. well the problem is Ishmael was born out of impatience. Yes. He was born out of a lack of faith and a lack of trust mm. on Sarah's part. And yes. even on Abraham's part, it can't all be blamed on Sarah. Mm. Even though she was the one that had the idea, Abraham was still foolish enough to follow. Mm -hmm. So, you know, how do we react when God promises us something? Right. What do we do? Do mm. we do we just kind of keep going faithfully and trust God and wait for him? Mm. Or do we do the human thing and get impatient yes. and and take matters into our own hands? Well, it's safe to say that most of us mm. try to take matters into our own hands many times. Mm -hmm. um, it's not uncommon for, well, we were talking earlier about mm -hmm. when when God makes us a promise. What, what was the yes, what were we you let, saying about we, it? We want to make sure that we, you know, one of the things that came to me is, it's not about it finding it's not about us finding it right it's about you know us it finding us right we wait you know we yeah. have to wait and mm -hmm. we have to be in the place so that it can find us mm -hmm. so we have to be obeying god and the things right. that he may be asking us to do at that time and mm -hmm. you know may have nothing to do with what we're asking him for and that's the thing we have to be careful of right. because it might just be something that he just wants us to keep doing that we're normally doing and let him bring that promise right. or that answer to mm -hmm. us so it's not about us finding it it's about it finding us exactly. and we have to be in the place mm -hmm. where it can find us and right. that is in the place of obedience we need to be obeying god mm -hmm. we need to be seeking him 
what are we supposed to be doing right now while right. we're waiting for right. this promise to come? Mm -hmm. and, and, and being in that place where it can find us, then we will receive God's answer for us. And it right. doesn't always necessarily, um, it's, it may not be what we thought it was going to be right. so we, or, or the yeah. way that we thought it was going to be. Mm -hmm. So we have to be careful even with that as yeah. well. Yeah. But waiting on Isaac is what's important. Right. Waiting on Isaac to come. Like, mm -hmm. like they had to wait for the promise to come. They had to right. wait for Isaac to come. But they had to be in that place mm -hmm. of obedience. Right. Where they are, were following God and exactly. doing what he wants That's right. them to be doing. And yeah. we as well have to be doing the same thing. Mm -hmm. It's not about us finding it. It's about it finding us. Right. Those are the things that usually, when it finds us, those are the things that work out. Those right. are the things that God wants for us. Because He ordains them. That's right. He sets them into motion. Mm -hmm. He makes them happen. And, you know, if we look at the story of Abraham and Sarah, mm -hmm. from the time that God promised them a son till the time that it actually happened mm -hmm. was 25 years. Yes. That's a long time. That is a How long. many of us are willing to wait 25 years? Yes. Now, we, we have to kind of put into perspective that they lived longer was, back then. Yes, that's you know, right. <laughs> that Sarah was 99 and Abraham was 100 mm -hmm. when, when Isaac was born. Right. But still, if, even if we break that down and say, let's cut it in half, mm -hmm. how many of us will wait 10 years? Right. You know, or 12 and a half years mm -hmm. if you want to be technical about it. But very few of us will wait that long. That's right. And what happens is a lot of times we step out mm. and, you know, we, we like to help God and kind of speed <laughs> things up. Yeah. And, you know, that's when we get into trouble. Mm -hmm. That is when we find ourselves getting into trouble because we take matters into our own hands. Mm -hmm. We, we want to help God mm -hmm. out and make it happen faster. Right. And the next thing you know, we're, we're way off. Yes. Track. Right. We're off the path where mm -hmm. God wants us. Mm -hmm. And most times, because we've gotten our wheels turning, we've set things into motion, we get into a situation where we just we just drop the ball and we right. get into trouble. That's right. And and then what happens? We need God to bail us out. Right. And we may prolong it. You know, I think there's a the, there's mm -hmm. a timing in all this yep. as well. You know, God knows what we need. And mm -hmm. he needs, a lot of times he has to prepare us for the answer right. or the promise. He has to get us ready for exactly. it. Exactly. And, you know, sometimes it's just, there's just a waiting period. for. Yep. We may never know why that period is right. there. Right. But we need to trust him. Mm -hmm. And we need to keep doing what we're supposed yeah. to be doing. Mm -hmm. It's, you know, we need to be watching, you know, and listening and in prayer mm -hmm. and, and just obeying him and right. following the steps that he has so that he mm -hmm. can bring that's right. That Isaac to us. You know, a lot. Of, some of you are uh, out there today and you're thinking, I well, I ever get my Isaac. I'm, I'm waiting and I'm waiting and it seems like 25 years. <laughs> yeah, and it might only have been two or three. <laughs> but, you know, God, it, it'll find you if you're in that place that right. you need to be. It'll right. find you. Right. So the most important thing that we could share with you today is to get in that place of right. obedience with God. Right. Seek him. Find out where you need to be right now. Mm -hmm. Take the steps and keep going. Mm -hmm. And that, that answer will find right. you. God's right. answer will find you. And yeah. you will know it when it comes. Mm -hmm. You will know it. Yeah, there'll be no Amen. there'll be no doubting at all. And let, let's just clarify really quickly. Being in that place where God wants you to be doesn't mean picking up and moving. That's right. It doesn't mean changing everything up mm -hmm. and chasing after it. It means following God wholeheartedly. Yes. It means Amen. not taking any steps unless mm -hmm. God directs us to take right. them. So if, if God has not told us to do something new and different, we need to keep doing what we're doing. That's right. We need to keep pressing into Him, drawing near to Him, mm -hmm. staying close to Him, mm -hmm. and listening. That's right. Listening carefully and yes. then obeying what we hear. Mm -hmm. and that's the place where God wants us to be. Yes, it's in our heart. That's it's right. It's in our heart that the place will be built in our hearts. That's right. We will know that mm -hmm. place. You know, mm -hmm. God will speak to us. He will right. show us. He will prompt us. Mm -hmm. And being in that place of obedience and knowing exactly where we're supposed to be. Mm -hmm. And in our hearts, we are changing. Right. So that when that comes to us, when it finds us, we are ready for it. We're right. ready to receive it. We're That's ready right. to do whatever God wants us to do with it when it right. comes. Amen. <laughs> right. Because he's prepared our hearts. He's and, us. and, you know, yes. like you had started to say a minute ago, a lot of times the waiting period, for lack of a better phrase, 
It's just a, t a period of time that God can get right. us ready yes. for whatever it is he's bringing to yes, us because right. so many times we're not ready. That's right. We know? think we, we think we are. Oh, we I want mean. it yesterday <laughs> and, and, you know, we're going to do this and we're going to yes. do that. But when it happens, mm -hmm. we, we make a mess of it. And, you know, our situation may say we are ready. We yeah. are ready. We need it right now. But you know what? We're not going by our situation. No. We don't look no. at our situation That's and right. say we need it now. We look at our situation and we say, God, what is it that we can do right now? Right. You know, if, right. if it hasn't found us and we're not, you know, the answer hasn't found us yet as far as the whole situation, there mm -hmm. is something that he may have us start doing right. so that it will prepare us for the whole thing exactly. to come. Amen. Yep. So we have to keep walking, you know, yeah. doing the same, doing the things. If it's the same thing, keep doing the same thing. God is going to work it out. It's right. going to find you eventually. Yep. And you're going to yep. be in that place if you obey him and That's you listen. Right. You will be ready to receive Amen. The Isaac. Amen. That's right. <laughs> Amen. So let's not settle for the Ishmael. Let's wait on the Isaac. Let's be faithful. Let's yes. trust God. And we're just going to pray real quickly and yes. then we'll wrap this up. Father, we just thank you for your faithfulness. Yes, we thank you, God, that your promises are true. Yes. Father God, teach us to wait for the Isaac. Yes. Father. Teach us not to settle for the Ishmael. Mm -hmm. Not to be impatient and take things into our own hands. Not to try to help you out or make things happen faster yes. but god help us to be diligent in yes. seeking you first yes. in putting you first in everything that we do and father god help us to trust you with all of our heart lord god that we would not jump out ahead of you and that we would not make a mess that you would have to come in and help us clean up father we thank you for your promises we thank you for your faithfulness. We thank you, God, that your word is true. And Lord, we just thank you, Father God, for the promises that you have for each person watching this video. Lord God, we pray your blessing over each person. We pray your joy over each person. And Father God, we pray your strength over each person, that they would look to you for all of their solutions for all of their answers for every situation that they have in their lives and father just continue to teach us continue to impart into us the things that you would have for us in our lives and we just pray in the precious mighty name of jesus amen 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 well you guys enjoy the rest of your day yes be patient with god wait on him and um if you'd share the video, we'd appreciate that. That way other people can get to see it. And we love you guys. We love we you. We want God's best for you. And yes. until the next video, you take care. We'll see you soon. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.